Challenger in butterscotch. I was just talking to this fellow. He says, I'm at a GM show, but I got a Chrysler. It's a 383 Magnum Shaker. My next door neighbor back in town had one of these back in the day when he was a teenager. He says to me, way too much motor for a little car. He's a slant six tower of power. Challenger RT8 cylinder, two door hardtop, bucket seats, 383 four barrel, dual exhaust, body side performance, tape stripe, day nightmare, shock absorbers, hair firm ride, bucket seats, cloth and vinyl, hound's tooth interior, undercoating, tape stripe, four, or four rally wheels, spare F70 14s. What a beauty. It's loaded. It's a scat pack. 383. Don't you love those rectangular exhaust tips? Challenger. They definitely had the Camaro beat with this body style. I always liked this body style. I'd take one. Maybe an AAR 340 like I saw when I was a kid on the bus coming back from a job I had at a summer camp in the Laurentian Mountains. Yeah, an AAR with a blown motor. Thousand bucks. A lot of money for a kid riding the bus. What else we got here? The Grand Am we saw with the sunroof, the GSX we saw, the GTOs, the Stage 1 Copo. GTO, Ram Air, Convertible, we saw this, Skylark, another 455 GS, N25, 1971-72 option, bumper exit. Yeah, N25, 68 GTO, first year for the Coke bottle, body style, pinched in the middle, no headrests, automatic dual gate on the floor, hood tack, Playing some good songs and it's not too loud. I got a real machine and it really goes no darn well. Beaten by V8 Chevelle. That was a GM promotional song. The Porcupine V8 Chevelle introduced in 65. In the Z16 Chevelle, they made 201 of them and they put them in the Corvettes. 396, 425 horsepower, solid lifters, no air conditioning. This is a 65 GTO, four-speed Hertz shifter. White parchment interior, custom seat belts, red lines, rally ones. 66, 66 chrome wraps all the way around. 67 stops there and the headlights are hooded on the 66s. Convertible with red line pie cross safety 800s. Hooded tail lights, the 67 has exposed tail lamps. Slight differences, there's a 67 right there. Right, right beside a Corvair Wild on YouTube. I can't have a GTO, what can I do? I gotta drive my Corvair. Dual gate, eight track, parchment interior. The lines run that way in 67 and that way in 66. Gotta change something. Ram air pan, 360 horsepower. 67 GTO with rally twos with the correct lug nuts. Yep, correct. Dual gate shifter. And an eight track under the dash. How rare is that? What a beautiful red. 67 and a beautiful 66. Two convertibles side by side. 66 was the best selling year for GTO. It was downhill from there. There was too much competition and insurance rates were too high. Another 67. Instead of having the plastic grill, it's got the wire bent just like a chain link fence. Yeah. Here comes the granddaddy of the muscle car, 64 GTO. Black, white interior. GTO. Splitter tailpipes rumbling away. Wouldn't mind having a 64 and a 67 and a 2 plus 2 and one of these and one of those. What else we got? 66 Skylark. I've got a GS. This is a Skylark. I've got the fender ports over here. The special had them over here. Tissue box. Two speed jet away. No clock. That fellow had a clock in his from a Malibu. That was so interesting in that 69. Fit right in. Same font even. Ain't that a 300? Rumble. Buick Lee side. 68 Le Mans. Rumble, rumble. There's a 65 Bonneville. Oh my, here it is. How do you like that? Just spotted it. 
pale yellow, extra long, longer than the Catalina, foot longer. What a party barge. Yep, power windows, power vent windows, automatic turbo 400, there's that GTO. That's the man I saw at Muscle Palooza. He's had that car for 30 something years, 40 years, since 1976, I think. 65 Bonneville, they came standard with leather interior. I think only in the convertibles came with leather interior, four-way flasher. This has got automatic temperature control. Does that mean it has air conditioning? It's got rear speaker, power antenna, power top, wood grain dash, speed minder, four-way flasher, vacuum gauge. Two plus two, what she looked like underneath. Who owns this party barge? Rust-free underneath, that's the way I like it. Looks like an older repaint. Check carefully for Bondo. This thing looks real nice. How do you like that? I'm supposed to buy that 65 Catalina in Kansas. It's not happening. I don't know why, but it's not happening. I guess I made a mistake somewhere.